whatever you value, you protect. Whatever you value, you're willing to sacrifice for. And so anything you have in your life right now is something that you have a value for. It's something that you've associated a level of endearment towards. Whatever you do not have in your life is also perhaps something that you haven't maybe emotionally valued as much. I will use an example. If you have a physical body of perhaps an athlete, it's perhaps because you've spent a lot of time working on your body, developing your body and conditioning your body. Now, if you spend two hours every day conditioning your body in the gym, then it's possible that you may have not spent as much time maybe learning how to play an instrument. So your physical body is a sign that you have a value, a level of value associated with your physical looks. But your ability to play a musical instrument may not be very proficient. And therefore, because you haven't invested or because you do not associate a lot of value to learning how to play a musical instrument is possible that your ability to play that instrument is not as good. And so really in life, life responds to you based on what you associate a value to. Let's make this more practical. I believe if you are not financially independent or you're not financially wealthy, now there are many ways to measure success. Financial wealth is just one way. It's not the only way. I, I do believe actually it's for me, personally for me, is the least most important. Now, I say that for a reason, simply because I believe that my relationships, my family, my purpose, my health come first and will always come first. But financial wealth is something that you can measure. It's a lot more measurable. So I use that as an example. But I believe, for example, if you are not financially independent or you're not financially wealthy or you haven't achieved the level of financial success you want, then it's probably because and most likely because you haven't associated a lot of value to achieving it. And it's not something that you have a burning desire to achieve. Because whatever you have a passion for and you have a strong desire for, you will normally be willing to sacrifice what needs to be sacrificed within limits to achieve it. Is that maybe you want it, but you don't want it badly enough. And my question to you will be, you know, what are you willing to sacrifice to achieve your level of financial success? Now, that, the answer to that question will vary for different people. It won't be the same. In some cases, you might have to sacrifice your time. It could be that actually you do not want to sacrifice your time. So the value you associate with using your time for other activities is perhaps more important to you. The point I'm making really is that life would only give you what you deserve. Life never gives you what you need or want. Is that just wanting something doesn't mean you're going to receive it is that what you respect, what you have a reverence for, what you have esteemed, what you have a value towards, will come to you. What you don't have a value for will go away from you, or it will stay away from you. So to actually achieve anything in life, relationally, business, health and well-being, maybe your life contribution, even your personal goals, like your recreational goals, having fun, anything you want in any of those categories would only be attracted to you based on the value you associate with it. You see, um, success, you know, happiness, joy, and um, you, know, you might say good health is something that you attract into your life. It's something that you ensue. It's not something you pursue. Because whatever you pursue tends to go away. Now think about it from this from this a different way. Is um when you pursue something, it's like hunting. You know, if you were to go into 
the jungle and any of the animals through instinct recognize that you were hunting they would run from you because whatever you're hunting for the hunted is always running from the hunter on the other hand if you look at fishing one of the things that is unique about fishing is simply you put a bait and then you just let the bait stay there the fish is attracted by the bait in most cases the fish doesn't even know when it's been caught the bait sits there quietly the bait is not chasing after the fish the fish swims around and then it notices that the bait is it's just where it is and the fish approaches the bait you see to attract anything into your life you have to first of all be attractive I like to use the analogy that you know good health wealth happiness success love prosperity in any area of life um, it's like a traveling it's like a traveler traveling on a journey and as he travels on the journey at some point he needs somewhere to stay now Every now and then it will knock on your door. When you open the door, he or she looks at you and based on how you present yourself, based on how you respond and react and how you open the door, it decides whether it will come in and stay with you. Now, depending on how attractive you are, it might stay for a night, it might stay for a month, it might stay for two years. In some cases, it might stay a lifetime so to achieve any of your dreams and desire first start with yourself make yourself more attractable associate a value to what you really want because what comes into your life is a result of what you value